Welcome to In the Kitchen with Janine. I hope you're enjoying the tour of my bedroom. That was a lot of fun. I'm going to do more of that, like I said, for my followers that like and enjoy the decor, the renovation, whatever have you, around the house, things we've done. Uh, the entire apartment was renovated by us, so we got lots more of that to share. But today I'm back in the kitchen, and what I'm going to be making is, I'm like, sorry guys, sorry, because I started making the beef over here we're going to do taco egg rolls okay now all i did was take a pound of ground beef 80 20 because i like the fat if you want sirloin or uh, a, le a leaner meat that's fine go ahead and do it i'm just baking this up frying it up like i would any taco night but the difference being you guys know i make my own uh, taco and chili seasoning because I like to know what's in it and I like to control the salt. So I'll include that recipe. You just use a couple of tablespoons with a pound of ground beef. I did add onion chopped, a half an onion chopped and a half of red pepper, sweet red pepper. And then my seasoning, a little extra garlic powder, a dash of tomato paste and a cup of water. Now I got to let this stew down because as you know, guys, it has to cool. I'm going to let that just stew away. I don't even have to give it much attention right now because I'm going to break. But I want to say that that has to stew down and cool. It has to be cool enough for me to roll the spring rolls. And then I'm going to show you that. That's why I'm here today. I did the chicken parm here and I'm do larger items because it is a bit more intense to set up here but it is fabulous for me to show you guys right in front what we're doing and how to roll those taco uh spring rolls it's going to be great so let me go and let that stew down let it cool and in the meantime i'm also going to make an avocado sour cream cilantro lime dipping sauce for them hi guys i'm back and the meat has been sauteed i added a chopped onion a red pepper, a pound of chopped meat, and just three tablespoons of my homemade sauce I told you. Now we're gonna get rolling. I'm gonna roll one on camera for you. I have a few done. I'm using spring rolls and I have one done cooks that we'll cut into. I wanna show you, I don't wanna stay here all morning driving you guys nuts. I know you like things done quick and you want the recipe fast. I only talk about the food and try to keep it uh, about the food because there are things you need to know to get it done. If you noticed here, I got all the fat out, mostly, mostly all of it. Okay. And I'll put pitches in and I'll talk about that. So you put about a little bit more than a tablespoon on. Okay. Push it toward the back a little bit. Take your spring roll. Go like that. Try to get the meat a little bit more shaped like a cigar, fat cigar. Roll it a little bit tight. And as you get to about this point, I would say halfway through, now you take your sides and you fold them over. Okay? Take your side and fold it over. Now you roll a little bit tighter. You don't want, you want to stay it nice and compact. Have water nearby. And you take the triangle and you wet that. Then you finish the roll. And that's what seals it. Okay? Don't worry about these edges. You could tuck them in. You could get, you know, fanatical. Whatever you want to do. Then I go a little bit on here and I'll tell you why. Some of these, I can't eat them all. We can't eat them all. We're going to freeze some. So I want a nice tight seal on that. And I'll put that to an area where I know. I'll do one more on camera for you guys so you know. And you get the rolling down pat. And you'll have two to see done. You keep, I'll tell you after I roll this, because you have to work fairly quick because they're delicate. Do you remember my catastrophe with the uh, wontons that never surfaced? Okay. That's because I was working with the plant-based wonton wrappers and they're smaller and they're a little bit more difficult, I'd have to say. Okay. But these are more like an egg roll, but they're not egg based. The egg base still will work better and I'm going to find them. I just can't get them in my local grocery. See what I'm doing? I'm pushing it. I'm making sure everything's in there compact. Okay. Let me get close. Let's get to our halfway point. See, now you take the whole side and you fold it over. Now it becomes the envelope. And I don't leave them overstuffed. I don't want them overstuffed because that's when I feel you have problems. I tried that with egg rolls once and I had a problem. So I just keep mine small. These are taco egg rolls. There's enough meat in there. We don't want to overkill on that. 
it is filling it's cheesy I drained most of the fat out that's what I wanted to talk to you about I'm gonna put everything I'm chatting about in the description but it's nice to hear while I'm doing it and you see it okay there you go see that's nicely compact in there kind of tight see see the edges okay I'm gonna put that on the side where it's gonna be frozen so I rolled two let me just rinse my hands off and I want to talk to you guys a little bit about and I'll show pictures at the end. I used 80-20 beef, which is fatty. We all know when you add a cup of water, you fry up that taco meat, it gets, it gets greasy, it gets fatty. We don't want that in egg rolls because that's just going to cause more boiling and splatter and craziness and more fat. I'm going to put pictures of all the fat I drained and got out of it, which is fairly gross. I'll show you how to do it. I'll talk about the technique. You basically, you put it in the bowl, let it all drain out. You put the Scott towel and you absorb it up. Then I went fanatical and laid some Scott towels here, and then I put the drained meat on top of that, let it drain a little further, then I transferred it into what you see here is a bowl where it's more compact. This saves me the time of putting it in the fridge to chill so that it fries good, but I did this way because I want the fat out. I want all of that excess fat out. Now what you're left with is beautiful rolls. I'll fry one lightly for you quick on camera while the first one's cooling so that we can talk, show you, and then I can taste it. So now I'm only using regular Mazzola oil. Get it up to your temperature for frying, deep frying. Excuse me. I'm going to use a um, wok pan because I like, I like the circular shape of it. So I'm just going to put it in there. Now mine's been preheating. It's on a six and it's sizzling. Okay. That's because I had a preheating. Now bear in mind, this is all cooked. The cheese has been added in. I went through a whole bag of four cheese Mexican by Sargento. And that's another thing. Soon as it was cooked and fried, I put all the meat, taco meat into a bowl, let it cool about five minutes. Then while it was still warm, I incorporated all that cheese into it. So it's flavorful, it's full of cheese, and we don't have to worry about adding more in. You ever see the uh, cheeseburger rolls? They add excess on top. It's too much. It's too much. Janine says it's too much. Okay, let me turn this. Okay. It's getting nice and golden. And I love this, that I don't have to worry about the internal food being cooked. With other egg rolls, I know you could put raw, whatever, veggies and raw meat or all cooked but I like it cooked, so I'm certain that's it takes minutes, maybe two minutes, three minutes. But you watch it as soon as it's golden and crispy. We're going to put it on here because I'm going to cut from this one and show you how delicious. I said I was going to make a sauce, and I haven't made it yet, but I will take a picture of it. I'll add it into this, if not in a video, in a photo with the recipe. It's not hard. And I'm just going to do a simple avocado uh, sour cream cilantro to dip in because I think that will go well with tacos. All righty. I think I'm ready to put this one out too. And then I'm going to lower my oil because while, oh, see, then you have something waiting and ready to drain it. See how golden that is? Now look at the back. I always have a faux pas. Look at the back, how sealed it is with the water, the little triangle part. See? Oh my God, it smells like Chinese takeout in here and it's Mexican. All right, that's Millie. She hears somebody next door. Okay, now, moment of truth, my fellow people. Let me get a knife, cut this. It's not quite lunchtime here. Millie, you better stop photobombing my video. You're going to have to be banned and put in a room. I don't like to put my dog in another room. Okay, I may have to. Okay, I'm cutting it in half. There's the inside. There's the inside. I see the juice already of the cheese, the melted cheese coming through. Okay. First of all, it's delicious. You immediately taco. First bite, taco charm. It's delicious. It doesn't even need the sauce. It doesn't need anything. And there's a lot of cheese in here. Like I said, I went through the whole bag for one pound of meat, which I think is a good ratio. You see the meat here? What I got? Okay. The egg roll. Beautiful. 
Mm. They're a little greasy, like traditional egg rolls. That's why. Make sure you let it drain well. Okay? Let it drain well. But there you have it, guys. The most delicious. Now, see, these are bad now that I know how to make them. Because, see, I could eat these every week. Mmm. Dumb job, man. Taco egg rolls in the kitchen with Janine. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. And the last tip I want to say that you have to do when working with these. That was my big mistake, whether you're doing the wontons or the spring roll wrappers, they're very delicate. Take two Scott towels, wet them with water, and keep it covered every time as you do each one as you roll, which I'm going to proceed to continue now to finish all that meat. They freeze well. I've made them in the past. They freeze very well. Put them in a bag on a pan. I would say flash freeze them first. That means lay them out on a plate, a dish, put them in the freezer couple of hours when they're all frozen and hardened, then put them in a gallon freezer bag and pull them out and fry them as you like. And I believe you can fry them frozen. I'll double check and put it in the descriptions. But that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you subscribe. I hope you watch me more. And thank you for being here today. I'll see you in the next video. Here they are frying up, guys. I wanted you to see so you know. I'm going to watch my finger. Sorry for that trying to do this for you guys so you can see okay I need my other hand to turn them you see you want them golden like that that one's perfect both sides move around a little bit get this one okay all right not going to show much more but that's basically it and when I said they were greasy, guys, they're not, in fact, greasy. What they are is cheese-packed. So if you want them less like this, let me show you on camera close. They look like they're greasy, but they're not. That's the melted cheese. See that shine? That's the melted cheese, which is absolutely, I got to say, delicious. Mm. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. I'm getting ready to take them out now. They're done.